Welcome back to my brutal difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, my friends. This is chapter number 10, it's called Only One Way Out. During this chapter, once again, we will have to deal with Lazarevic soldiers and we'll need to make our way out of the temple. For the most part this chapter on brutal difficulty it's not too bad because there's a lot of places that we can use for cover there's a lot of places where we can hide and as such it's not too bad at least it didn't take me too long to figure out a way to complete this chapter without too many issues so we're going to hide behind the pillar right here wait for that guy to get a little bit closer and then we're going to take him out as well even though it is possible that his friend might see me yep he saw me well that's okay because as long as we remain behind the pillars we're good right so Jeff we have already. nothing to worry about really got to get back to the entrance. I'm a little more worried about let's take right care now. of this guy first quickly <laughs> Now let's get back behind cover and let's take care of the sniper. There we go. See, as long as you stay behind the pillars, it's all good. And that makes this initial section very simple because if you try to shoot them as soon as you come out of the statue's mouth, things can be very problematic because you'll have five guys shooting at you at the same time so on brutal that's not a very good idea and now let's pick up the sniper rifle that the sniper dropped and we're just going to use it to take care of the two soldiers over there one and two. and i'm actually going to drop the sniper rifle because I want to fall it's going to be my main weapon during this chapter let's melee this guy before he can do anything oops there we go and now let's take care of this one hopefully with a brutal combo there we go and that gets us a little bit more ammunition. And now there's going to be a wave of soldiers coming at us, but we can stay here and seek cover. Chloe is actually getting in my way right now, which I didn't want her to do that. Because her gun is so weak and does such little damage that it will take her a long time before she can even kill a single soldier. Please get out of the way, Chloe. There we go. And that takes care of that guy. And once we kill the first of these two guys, there's going to be three more soldiers coming at us and one of them has a shotgun. Let's see if I can get them all with a single grenade. I think I got them all. Yep. Well, that wasn't bad at all. Like I was saying, this area isn't too bad. Because the, only, the enemies can only come from one direction. So that makes things a lot easier. It's different when you're in a more open area. And enemies come at you from different directions. That can really make your life a lot more troublesome on Brutal difficulty. But since they can only come from one side, things become a lot simpler. Let's throw a grenade. Oh, and that guy stopped walking. So that grenade is not going to do anything. Well, we'll throw another one. I don't want that guy to get too close. 
could manage to shoot him while he was throwing the grenade, so he ended up killing himself. Okay. The good thing about the fall is that you can zoom in just like with a sniper rifle and that makes things easier during this chapter. Don't need the shotgun and there should be another grenade here. There it is. Now be careful here because there's a guy with a shield and the best way to deal with guys with shields is to throw a grenade, make sure they are close by. The enemies with shields, they're more vulnerable to grenades than your standard enemies without shields. So it's very easy to finish them off with a grenade. The problem is when you don't have a grenade at your disposal. Sorry Chloe, but you did get in the way. So, and please move. She's getting in my way a lot. Okay, and she's doing precisely what I didn't want her to do, but oh well. Let's melee this guy. Oh, and that guy was still there. Well, that I was lucky here because if that guy had opened fire, I would have been dead by now. But I would have blamed Chloe because she keeps getting in the way. Okay, that guy's done. Next. And there should be two more on this side. To the left side, there they are. They do like to stick their heads out. And that's it for both of them. You stay back there, Chloe, because really you haven't been very helpful at all. Dodge to the left here. And let's try and take care of this guy. Oh, he's not coming down any further because of Chloe again. See, if Chloe hadn't opened fire, he would have kept coming down and we would have been able to melee him. But Chloe had a different plan, I think. So unfortunately, we couldn't really do anything. Let's take care of this guy as well. And now we can get out of here. But be careful guys, because in my opinion, this next part is the hardest part of this chapter. We don't have as much cover. And we need to move fast. There's a revolver right here, pick it up, or a pistol, and move up and stay here so that you have some cover. And as soon as you see the enemies, shoot them. Sometimes both of them come through this side the other times that enemy will try to flank you, but you should have enough time to shoot both of them. And here comes Nate, the big bad guy. Him. Nothing that a couple of grenades can fix. There we go. Come on. And don't worry about using grenades here because we'll be able to pick up a lot of them. Before we move out. So we're good. right here. As you can see there's plenty of them. Okay and this final section isn't too bad because you can stay inside the temple for cover and pick off your enemies one by one and it works pretty well. Just be careful with one thing, there's a glitch which this glitch already existed in Uncharted 2 in the original PlayStation 3 version and they didn't fix it on Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection. If you head to the right side and you move close to the door or if you try to stay between the, the door and the wall, you will get stuck there. You might not get stuck there, but there's a very good chance that you will get stuck there and you won't be able to get out unless you kill yourself or restart the checkpoint. So don't do that. Obviously I'm telling you this because 
that happened to me when I was practicing this chapter. And it also happened to me when I played this game for the first time. And I still remember because I was so annoyed with the fact that I couldn't move and got stuck b between the wall and the door. It was just silly. The next wave appears once we step out. Let's take care of the guy with the shotgun. And that guy as well. And there should be two more. Whoops, that's not good. <laughs> okay, if I hadn't jumped, I think I would have been dead by now. That's one thing that's always very frustrating. When you're playing on brutal difficulty and you're so close to ending the chapter. And right when you're very close to completing it, you get shot and you die. That can be very frustrating. But that shouldn't happen here, hopefully. And there's really no point in saving ammunition here, guys, because we're going to lose our weapons. So don't worry about it. I don't know how that guy managed to hit me, but no harm done, we're still alive. We, we were a little bit faster, so it's all good. And that's going to conclude this chapter, my friends. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later for chapter number 11. Take care. We better keep moving. He's hit. I I'm okay. Let me see. Oh. All right, you're going to be fine. All right? Think you can stand? I think so. All right, come on, I'll have it. No. No, 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 leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Oh. Nate. He's fine. Aren't you, Chief? All right, get the door open. He's never going to make it. We have to leave him. What? No. Get the door open, Chloe. going to get us all killed. 